It's been two weeks since an eighth grader, Pebbenville, took her life. Natalie Natividad was only 15 years old, but she had been a victim of bullying for years. It's a problem that parents say has not been effectively eradicated, taking deep root in Hebronville, Texas. Arm in arm, friends and Hebronville Middle School classmates make their way to the high school across the street. It's a homecoming dance, a rite of passage, but it's one that 15-year-old Natalie Natividad will never know. That little girl, she had a future. Tired of being a target for bullies, Natalie ended her life with a fatal dose of pills. Since her death, students have been talking about bullying in Hebronville. I've been, been getting bullied since I was in elementary. The school's actions were ineffective, he says. I think they'll just send him to ISS or suspend him for a day. He began defending himself physically. The bullying stopped. But his frustration with the district's discipline is echoed by the community. At a plate sale to raise money for Natalie's funeral expenses, people stop to show their support. Um, I just came out here to help out the family and to support, to stop bullying. It's not a new subject for the town. Right now I have a granddaughter that's not going to school because she's been bullied. Talking hasn't been enough. Right now the atmosphere is if you speak up, well, who's going to listen? Upset and concerned. You can go talk and have meetings and meetings and meetings and there's nothing being done. These parents and grandparents have repeated the stories their children tell them of their days at school. When that little girl told her, I wish I could just kill you right now. Those words sank deep for Estela Salinas' daughter. In July, she found her daughter overdosed and in a profound stupor. And when they got there, the doctor said, oh, she is going to go into cardiac because her heart rate was like super high. Estela is grateful that she finally woke up. But these incidents keep parents awake with dread. Uh, my granddaughter got to the point that one time they pushed her from the stairs all the way down. And she called my daughter and she said, uh, Mom, come pick me up. I can't take it anymore. Some end up leaving the school altogether, but they're not without advice for those in a position to change the outcome of stories like Natalie's. If you know that your child has been bullied, speak up. And teachers listen to those kids. I just think that that's part of it, is that our teachers don't know how to properly handle some of this stuff. And if, like I said, if they're not getting the proper support that they need, it becomes very disheartening for them too. Although Natalie will be missed, her death, her suffering, could mean a new beginning for others like her. She could make a difference at least in this town. The district has been contacted, but refusing to an interview, they sent a statement. It did not mention whether they would be investigating, what kind of punishment Natalie's bullies might face, or whether this has made them reconsider their policies. Meanwhile, Jim Hawk County Sheriff's Office and the Texas Rangers are conducting an investigation of these incidents. For KGNS, I'm Valerie Gonzalez.